This is 7 National News in our top story this evening. UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, on Sunday met with the directors and heads of local government departments. The meeting, attended by Dubai Crown Prince Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum and Dubai Deputy Ruler Sheikh Maktoum bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, discussed the development of government performance and enhancing public services to meet public expectations, as per the highest internationally recognized standards. His Highness called on Dubai senior officials to put aside what had been accomplished and to always look ahead in order to maintain and sustain UAE's leading edge. During the meeting, Sheikh Mohammed stated that the financial and economic crises are but challenges that present opportunities to innovate and be creative. His Highness asked Dubai senior officials to champion and pioneer initiatives that catalyze and drive aggressive development in all aspects. UAE's Foreign Minister, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan and Yuri Rosenthal, Dutch Foreign Minister, on Sunday signed a Memorandum of Understanding for the continuation of political consultations between the UAE and the Kingdom of the Netherlands. The agreement was signed during a meeting on the sidelines of the NATO summit, currently taking place in Chicago. The signing of this MOU comes in the framework of continuous cooperation between the two countries in various political, economic and cultural fields. The UAE government has been actively campaigning towards the integration of children and people with special needs into the society. Among the various and latest efforts towards achieving this goal is a workshop on the role and impact of social media towards individuals with disabilities. Hosted by the Sharjah City for Humanitarian Services in collaboration with the Sharjah Media Centre, the event highlighted the importance of online platforms such as Facebook and Twitter. It serves as a way to communicate and provide further guidance to parents and families of children with special needs. This enables parents to interact with medical professionals, seek advice, guidance or simply share and exchange experiences. Meanwhile, Osama Samra, director of the Sharjah Media Centre, believes it is important for support and love to begin at home. The cerebral palsy case, the, the child uh, goes into seizures and these seizures are different. So they film the seizure. And they uploaded it to Facebook and they said, my child suffers this kind of seizures from cerebral palsy. If your child suffers similar seizures, so the best thing to control these seizures is ex-medicine. Meanwhile, Lubna Smida, diagnosed with the motor neuron disease and who speaks four languages and recently graduated with a master's degree, says where there is a will, there is a way. The start of my studies, uh, I used to be, I mean, um, like a jack of all trades. Mm. How? Uh, I mean, no, no one of the schools had accepted me as a disabled person. And mom and uh, my dad, uh, they uh, tried their best to uh, make me feel as a normal. Mm -hmm. I quote this because I am normal. The Abu Dhabi municipality is calling on banks and owners of impounded vehicles at the Bani Yas Vehicles Impounding Yard to finalise their cases and the release of their vehicles. Those responsible are to contact the external centres division at the municipality's head office at Al Salam Street for clearance of the 1,548 vehicles that have been impounded for over a year now. According to a local report, the municipality is warning that failure to comply with the requirements will result in the confiscation and selling off the vehicles in an open auction. The municipality added that actions will be taken against those who abandon their vehicles or machinery at public lots, parking roads or unclosed areas. And staying in the capital, the municipality of Abu Dhabi City announced in a statement that companies in Abu Dhabi's construction center sector that are found to be violating health, safety and environment regulations will now have their transactions suspended. According to local reports, the authorities say that the new system means that inspectors will not only impose fines for a violation, but also suspend all transactions. To avoid a delay in delivering the project, companies will have to rectify the violation as soon as possible and submit Submit proof to the municipality. Up next, we have your business news, so stay with us.